Hey guys, this is Thomas. Today's lesson is going to be about movement. Um, in, order, in order to get your LEGO NXT brick and whatever you're building, say it's a little car, or it's some sort of robot, you know, whatever you want to do with it, you're going to need to have some movement. Um, in order to create movement, we're going to, we're going to use this movement icon right here. It's a little interlocking gear and you're going to want to snap it down. All right, so we're just going to go over what everything on this icon means really quickly. So if the icon says C and B, if you have motors connected to ports C and B on your Lego NXT brick, it will move those motors. Um, so you can see down here, C and B are selected. If you want to do A and C, you're just going to unselect B and you're going to select A. Um, up here and down here, indicates what direction the motors are going to be driven. So right now we're going to leave it leave it going forward, but you can have the motors driven backwards. Um, this indicates the power that the motors are being driven at. Um, you can have the motors driven at a very high power, so 100, or you can have the motors driven at a really, really low power, so around 5 or 6, 8, whatever, and it's basically going to be crawling. This last little indicator here means that it's going to stop after a certain duration of rotations. So right now, um, after one rotation, it's going to stop moving. Um, say you want to change it to seconds, you can just select seconds and change it to five seconds. Um, this, this will continue to move um, for five seconds and then it will break, but if you want into coast into a stop you can just select coast so it will move and then it'll slowly um, stop and that's it for motors um, we'll learn about more complicated things you can do with motors cooler things you can do with motors but that will come in next lesson